Butter is one of the most iconic dairy products made from milk, and many famous butter producers have focused on improving the quality of milk, the key ingredient that defines butter's flavor. They've let cows graze freely on wide, green pastures and fed them organic hay, all to ensure the cows stay stress-free. But this age-old method may soon be left behind, because an astonishing new technology has emerged, one that can make butter without using a single drop of milk. And the most surprising part is, the main ingredient in this new butter is air. So how is that even possible? In 2024, one video is uploaded to Bill Gates' channel. In the video, he spreads what looks like ordinary butter on bread and takes a bite. Then, clearly impressed, he says, mm, That's great. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to tell you that wasn't butter. Not butter? The butter he just ate isn't the dairy-based kind we all know. It's called air butter, made entirely from water and air without a single drop of milk. There have been many attempts to replace butter in the past. Margarine, avocado butter, coconut butter, most of them are plant-based substitutes. But capturing the rich flavor and aroma unique to animal-based butter has always been a tough challenge. But now, a food tech startup called Savor has developed air butter, and they say it's so close in flavor and aroma to real butter that most people can't even tell the difference. Even Bill Gates was so impressed by the flavor and decided to invest. As mentioned earlier, what's truly astonishing about this air butter is that its main ingredient is air. More specifically, it's the carbon dioxide found in the air. So how is that even possible? Butter is roughly made up of 80% fat and 15% water, and fat itself is made up of carbon and hydrogen atoms. What's important here is, we already know the structure and composition of fat. In other words, if we have carbon and hydrogen, we can make fat. Of course, that's just in theory. Who would actually try to make fat from scratch? Well, someone did. After years of research, Saver succeeded in synthesizing fatty acid chains by combining hydrogen from water with carbon dioxide from the air. The result is not just a butter substitute. Even though it's made artificially, its chemical structure is identical to the real butter we eat. Is that even possible? I'd go so far as to call it the pinnacle of thermochemical engineering, a modern form of alchemy. This success carries enormous significance. Producing regular butter emits about 2.4 grams of carbon dioxide per kilocalorie. In contrast, air butter emits only 0.8 grams per kilocalorie, roughly a third of that amount. Considering 14.5% of global greenhouse gas emissions come from livestock farming, this reduction is highly significant. Plus, since its main ingredient is carbon dioxide, the process also helps reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Until now, forests have been the only real method for capturing atmospheric carbon and storing it underground. But if this air butter technology becomes commercially viable, it could offer another powerful solution for long-term carbon storage. Of course, there's still a long road ahead. Even if the flavor has already been validated, the product won't be competitive in the market until the price drops to the level of regular butter, low enough for everyday consumers to afford. The technology behind air butter, especially its carbon capture process, is already being applied in other industries and has strong potential for further development. That means there's plenty of room to cut costs, but price isn't the only hurdle. What many consumers react to even more strongly is the discomfort or skepticism around eating something that was chemically synthesized. To overcome this, Saver will have to prove that this lab-made butter is in no way different from regular butter, just as safe and just as nutritious. This isn't just about reinventing butter, it's about challenging long-held beliefs and paradigms. Kathleen Alexander, chief executive of Saver, says, pending regulatory approval, we could be tasting air butter as early as 2025. So how will we remember this moment? The day carbon from the air ends up on our plates. Could that mark the beginning of a new chapter in history?